Hello, hello. Da, 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 da. This is Star Trek Reborn, also known as the Bell Raptor. Over there. Over there! Yeah, I can't do it. Over there! Hmm. I've kind of lost the ability to do that, but I can try. Anyways. Alright, we are here to answer, ask Bark at the uh, 666 six, yes. about his life. And various other things. Yeah. A uh, question Probably. number one. Um, what do you think of the band, the Night Warriors, that you are featured in as the main guitarist? Well, I, I can't really say too much as of yet, for we do not have a... Uh, I mean, as of right now. Okay, as of right how, now. Like, what do you think of where the band is going to go? How much faith do you have in it? Ah, uh, man, that's rather difficult. It's because to be honest, like even though many people have done it before, the dream of being famous and being a rock star, that although many others would agree, is rather is rather unrealistic. But it's working it's, so far. Uh, yes, yes, we are getting somewhere. But if we were to ever stay at a street level, I wouldn't be too surprised. I mean. I have various ideas and plans and whatnot to get this at least decent. Yeah, decently off the ground. Sam, I'm the one who's like running the whole thing behind the scenes, off in the corner in the closet, in in the closet. I don't know what the hell. I'm yes, going with that. and you're the vocalist, so you're not just in the closet. <laughs> you do realize that was a Michael Jackson reference. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> you missed. You <laughs> ducked. I wasn't. I thought you would aim for me down here. No, anyways, whatever. question two. Hey, but I didn't finish. Okay. Anyways, keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So, though my opinions on this band, uh, our future plans are, although uh, rather cool and interesting, in my opinion. Like what? Like uh, how uh, we're doing those uh, interest, those rather interesting uh, concept albums. Right. No. I wish I could say so you can look forward to them next month, but we haven't even gotten them written. Uh, well, Can't wait till the day that I say that in an album. Yeah. <laughs> Video. <laughs> that thunking is my diary hitting me in the face. Yes, it is. My diary of a madman. Uh, yes. Um, um, for which uh, we we have a few songs written, but not all of them. None of them recorded, but written. Oh God, that scared uh, me. Anyway. I'm okay. All right, uh, question two. Of any Nintendo console, which one would you prefer to have as a super giant fighting robot? <laughs> um, I'd say since the original Nintendo has been around, it probably has the most experience due to that. Yeah, but it's probably got the like the weakest stats. And the Wii would suck in a fight. The Wii breaks if you touch it. <laughs> it really comes down to three yeah. systems. Uh, very true. Well, the, 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 the N64, it's technology technologically I mean, advanced. With, with the design of a Nintendo console as a giant robot. Yes, yes, I know. Well, like technology-wise, it's uh, of course advanced compared to the compared to the others before it, obviously. <laughs> and, yeah, inferior uh, in some ways. Yes, though, though, uh, and it's also been around a decent amount, so it must have a experience, a decent amount of experience as a fighting robot. I bet. So I would go with the N64. I would go with Super Nintendo because it had fighting games and RPGs. You know. Yep. <laughs> Go with the Super Nintendo. Anyways. Anyhow. Um. Uh, out of all the Final <laughs> Fantasy games in the main <laughs> series, what is your favorite? Um, I haven't really played all of the Final Fantasy. Well, I mean, I haven't either, but I mean, you've at least seen pictures, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Good enough. Well, I would uh, have to say uh, it's rather difficult to answer. All the stories are just like I know. It's like ah, which one to pick? Uh, 
So like, what is the shockingly best shockingly story in your opinion? Battery. Out of all the ones that I've experienced, I'd say mm-hmm. out of all the games I've rather seen other, well, gameplay of, I would have to say seven. Seven? Yeah. Why seven? Why well, seven compared because... to something like four? Well, because the story is seriously so long and complicated to the extent of which it had to be spread upon four PlayStation 1 discs. Three. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, and why do you like it besides the story? Like, what is it else about Final Fantasy VII that you love? Um, well, it... It's shocking. Well, it's graphically shocking. Graphics wise, of course. Graphically shocking, graphics wise. <laughs> redundant statement is redundant. <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, not. Well, not just. Well, I'd say that some of the things are just beautiful and shocking for its day. Like what? Well, just like maybe the. Well, the various cutscenes. Um. Like, like there's an animation. Example. Um, it's difficult to give a specific one. I don't remember too much. Like just one off the top of your head. Um, like the one where uh, basically the story, like the whole uh, Mako energy thing, is explained. Where if all of this or that is taken away, the world absorbs its own self. Something crazy like that. No, it's if uh, all the Mako energy is taken from the Earth, the Earth will literally die. Sure. That was legit. It. But I mean, you got close. Uh, anyways, out of all the Pokemon games, what was your favorite generation? Um, I'd have to say Kanto, because that was before. No, I mean, like, Gen 1, Red, Blue, Yellow, Gen <sighs> 2, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Gen 3. I usually just go th- by Not regions. by region, I mean, by game generation. Uh, like, the first one, the, like, okay. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, JBA. Okay, DS, yeah. okay, okay. That's how um, I. That's how I. Mind. I'd say, uh, game. I would actually say, uh, Game Boy Advance. So Gen Three. Yeah. Sure. That was what. That was the generation you and I grew up in. And why did you like? What was your favorite game of Gen Three? Um, I'd have to say, it's, I don't know. I would have to say Fire Red actually, because that was actually my uh, first Pokemon game. Well, no, 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 it wasn't, but. That was when I began actually taking Pokemon seriously, was when I got my, uh, when I got, uh, Fire Red. Which I now proudly own. Damn it. Yeah. Because back in the day, I would just simply steal my, uh, sister's copy of, uh, Blue and save over the file. Like, giving it some sort of, yeah, repeatedly. (laughs) Giving it, like, some really stupid name. (laughs) Or naming uh, one of the starters like Fire or Leaf Dude, or something stupid like that. <laughs> uh, okay. I remember doing that when I was little. <laughs> we were such little derps. Okay, now here's a serious question: If you ever had a girlfriend, what would you want in her like in her personality? Uh, I'm not the biggest. Fan of the whole relationship. Just answer thing. the stupid question. Uh, the fans of the well, Night Warriors me... want to know. I think. Why? I don't know. I'm just probably not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Any hell. Um, <laughs> Any hell. <laughs> well, Sorry, I, I notice in many relationships, most most guys. It's usually most girls usually leave it up to the guys to uh, like. Add all the lovey-dovey compliments and whatnot to the relationship and dedicate that to the girl and always make the girl feel good. Well, the girl really doesn't do very much in return. That's very true. Unfortunately. I will like, admit. I hear people dedicating the kindest words to them. And, and then they, they just stop like, them in the face. Aw, that's so sweet. And then say nothing equal Back, which I find rather insulting, and deep down, and then inside, just five months later they break up. And deep down inside, I know that the guy in the relationship is rather insulted. Well, he doesn't want to admit that because uh, he's his uh, 
Uh, that's just a girlfriend. So, but anyhow, uh, the point I'm trying to get to is it would just be nice if it were a girl who would bother to show, to also show her appreciation towards me. And not just simply leave it up to me to just add all the cuteness and I'd have niceness to, agree to with the you relationship. On that one. I will admit that is like the ideal girl for any guy. That's pretty deep, man. <sighs> pretty yes. deep. I'm I, able to. I give you credit for that, man. I mean, I know you and I can go deep, but that's impressive. Okay, uh, next random ass question. Um. Uh, why are you obsessed with a different object once every year? You know, I don't, I don't know why, honestly, because it's, it's always just been strange tradition. Like, explain from when was the farthest you can remember? What grade? I'd have to say sixth grade. So go from sixth mentioned. grade obsession to now. Okay. Sixth grade, the objects are always completely random. They are. It's usually. It's funny. Although they they usually are food. Um, really? Like in, yeah. Haven't you noticed that? Oh right. <laughs> and they're usually things that you never eat. Yeah. Although I do eat munchkins in sixth grade. Munchkins. Mm, I love munchkins. Though in uh, sixth grade, it was uh, muffins. No. It was a uh, munchkins. Those uh, little, like, round dough things. Donut balls! Yeah! <laughs> Donut balls. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Holy burritos. Oh, hey. Anyways, that, that's later. Um, okay. So. Um, uh, We've, like, initially... past the ten minute mark. Yeah. Alright, so we shall Anyways, continue to the next wait, part. I did it, Fruner. Yes, we have! Yeah.